Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about all the cryptocurrency mining coins. So for a while these have been kind of the old ones that we haven't really checked in on too much just because the profitability isn't there. But looking forward into the future, hopefully with the 2025 bull run, we'll see some of these actually uptick a little bit as well. So the coins that we're mainly going to be covering is Ravencoin, Flux, Ergo, Ethereum Classic and Monero. So these are what I would class as kind of legacy mining coins, the ones that have survived relatively past the Ethereum merge. We've obviously had new ones that came in. We had Alephium, Dynex, which was, you know, doing pretty well, but didn't do too well after about six months ago. Casper coin and Radiant, Nexus, stuff like these. So these are the new ones that we've all kind of been mining for quite a while now. We've obviously made loads of videos on the channel, so if you've mined them, you kind of know where this stands. But looking back in the past, before the Ethereum merge, there were a couple of coins out there which we were looking to mine instead of obviously Ethereum. These were Ravencoin, Flux, Ergo, some other smaller ones, but these were the main ones, Ethereum Classic and Monero. So Ravencoin, as we see here, they all kind of have the same chart if we look through all of them real quick. Ergo... Ethereum Classic and Monero. So Ravencoin, as I said, it doesn't really have much adoption and a lot of these don't have much adoption and that's why they're kind of, you know, sleepers until the bull run. We see a price up for obviously the last bull run and it comes all the way down. They had a halving which really tanked the price down because they had the halving and the Ethereum merge which basically annihilated all of the older coins that we see. So those were kind of taken out of the market because a lot of hash rate hit their networks. It became vastly unprofitable, meaning that only people with free power could basically be profitable on these coins. And from a mining perspective, it didn't really make sense to mine any of these coins, and it still doesn't really. Plus, I believe Ravencoin and Flux have both had a halving, which makes it double as hard to mine it in terms of profitability. The Ethereum merge kind of mixed everything up and... It kind of did breathe life into newer coins like Casper Coin, Alephium, Radiant, Nexa, Ironfish, all of those new ones that were coming out. They kind of had automatic hash rate that would hit the network just because people weren't profitable on any of these coins that we see here. So Ravencoin, where do I think it goes from here? I don't think it's going to get up to this 20 cent range or 25 cent range again, but I think possibly it could go up to around 5 cents. So we have maybe a 5x increase. It's already been up past that in recent days or in recent months, you know, going back to April of 2024. So it's not out of the question. So if you're looking for a quick 5x, you can kind of go with Ravencoin or any of these legacy coins that we're going to look through. But the main reason that I'm kind of talking about these is these are places where you can park some of your liquidity to basically have a guaranteed 5, 6, 7x, whereas Bitcoin's probably only going to do three or four. These are places where you can guarantee those five to seven X in cryptocurrencies just because they've been around for a long time and they usually will pump a little bit higher than Bitcoin. That always kind of happens with altcoins and it could be a strategy maybe into buying into these for now whilst the prices are pretty low as you can see here. So this is around what two cents and it could go up to maybe even nine cents to 10 cents on possibility because it's not out of the realm of impossibility we've already had it up to five cents and passed that before same goes with flux but i think flux is probably the most developed out of all of them that we're looking through today ravencoin i don't think there's much development going on over there flux is constantly innovating proof of useful work has kind of been their massive thing that they've brought in I don't actually know how well that's doing. I haven't caught up with Flux for a while in terms of what they're doing on the network. But they're obviously growing in revenue as a company, but not as a cryptocurrency, it seems. So that kind of worries me in terms of the price. But you have had increases up to, if we look there, that's what, $1.63. And we're at $0.60 cents right now. And the top of the peak was around $3. So I think that this could definitely go up as well maybe a 5x, maybe 4x. It definitely has infrastructure that would be important going on in the future, but I don't think that there's too much adoption that's actually coming onto the network. It needs to grow a little bit more 
before we can see the price of the coin actually increase whilst the whole overall operation of Flux is increasing in revenue. Because I believe they do turn a nice revenue, but it doesn't really reflect on the price of Flux. And then moving on to Ergo, you can kind of see the same thing, but I don't think that Ergo is going to experience as much of a spike. It nearly got up to $20 and it's around 7 it's around 70 cents now. As I said, not really much development going on here anymore. And it's kind of sad to see because when you look at market cap, I believe if we go here, you can kind of see that the market cap of Ergo was up to around 700 or 800 million. And now it's all the way down to what we see here is 54 million. So these coins as well, if we go back onto market cap, you can see Flux was up to 700 million. Ravencoin, they were all kind of at the same market cap, I believe. So Ravencoin was up to 2 billion, which is kind of crazy. And the only like real profitable coin apart from Bitcoin that we see at that kind of ranges is Casper coin with around 4 billion. I know that there's Litecoin or whatever, but that's not as profitable as Casper coin. I don't think it is profitable too much actually. But you can see Ravencoin had a massive, massive market cap. So that's kind of why I would bet on Ravencoin more than any of these legacy coins, just because it had such a big dominance in terms of these GPU mining coins that we see. So we talked about Ergo, that's about 800 million. Flux is about 700 million. So we know that it can get up there. Obviously there's more coins on the network now, so it's harder to get up there in terms of the price of the coin. Ethereum Classic, same kind of thing, but there was a lot of hash rate did hit the network from the Ethereum merge. But since then, I don't think there's been much development going on either. Market cap of Ethereum Classic, obviously massive at the time. So 17.5 billion at the peak. And it's sitting around 2.7 billion right now. So still a massive market cap, which will probably increase as well. My bets are on the ones with the biggest market caps right now, just because they'll experience a little bit more of a push, more than Bitcoin in the future. These two, Flux and Ergo, have more to grow but it's not a guaranteed growing of the price or market cap. And then you have probably the oldest one, in my opinion, apart from Ethereum, which is Monero. Let's go back to market cap. It won't display it here, so let's just go to price. This has actually experienced two bull runs, so it's in the 2016 one. I believe the rest of them came off from 2016 into the 2021. This one experienced the full bull run, of up to around $500. Same with this one. I don't think that there's going to be too much of a peak. As you can see, the peak in 2016 or 2017 was higher than the peak that they had in 2020. So it's probably going to be a little bit below that, maybe $400, something like that. It's kind of a little bit too old for everyone to start pumping the Monero bags right now, and the technology is slightly outdated plus there's been delistings from exchanges so that's going to affect the price as well when we look at all-time highs so this is a good metric to look at where the drop is since the all-time highs because it kind of gives us how much room it has to grow casper coin alephium all these new coins monero is around 67 percent from the all-time high so there's only around 200 percent that is actually going to be crossed or if you invest it, it's only going to be around 200% that you're going to get back if it does hit the same all-time high. With Flux, as we see here, it's around 439, so that's a 4x that we're going to kind of get from that if it does hit a new all-time high. And then what were the other ones? Ravencoin, this is a 15x to the next all-time high, but I don't think it's going to go up to that much either. And then the last one would be Ergo, which we can actually search here which is around 25x. So Ergo might probably be the best bet in terms of how much it's going to jump to the all-time high, but I don't have that much faith in it. We're more talking about buying coins here. I'm not talking about mining them necessarily. I'm just thinking these are easy ways that we can make a little bit more on top of Bitcoin, kind of guaranteed if we park a little bit of money into these cryptocurrencies. Just because of the standing that they've had previously and in the past bull runs, they've done very well. And then if you come to hash rate, I know we just put five 4090s in here. So it kind of tells us like what the profitability is. I'm not saying that you should mine them at all. I think even at the top, let's see what the first one we've run into. So Ravencoin is unprofitable. 
by around 51 cents. And then if we keep scrolling down, we come to Flux, which is unprofitable to $1.01. Ergo at 0 0.65. So Ergo is actually better than Flux at this point. And maybe it's pulling more watts and the profitability is not as good. But then the last one obviously would be Monero, which we wouldn't be mining on a GPU, but Ethereum Classic is there, and that's minus 2.78. So no profitability from any of them. I didn't really expect that just because the halving of Ravencoin and Flux kind of came in and that destroyed profits, plus the hash rates that hit the network after the Ethereum merge. But on the Monero side, there is still slightly profits on it, I believe. But this is nice hash random X, so that would be any Monero coin or fork. I don't think it's going to be necessarily Monero, but it would be probably relatively profitable to mine Monero still on these high end CPUs. I just wouldn't recommend it because I don't think the price is going to jump that much. So let me know your thoughts in the comments if you're going to be buying any of these just to kind of park some money into them because they might do well in the future. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content like this.